Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to find set of efficient allocations in an economy where individual 1's utility function is minimum x1, y1, individual 2's utility function is minimum x2, y2, individual 1 has only 5 units of y, individual 2 has only 10 units of x. So the total amount of y in this economy is 5 units and the total amount of x in this economy is 10 units. Let us begin by plotting Edgeworth box. These are the axis of individual 1. These are the axis of individual 2. So the dimension of this Edgeworth box is 10 by 5 because there are 10 units of x and 5 units of y available in this economy. Now let us plot some indifference curves of individual 1 and 2. We are going to make a 45 degree line like this because the utility function is minimum x1, y1 and then we are going to plot indifference curve of individual 1 in this way. Let us now plot the indifference curve of individual 2. This is how it's going to look. So the way the entire Edgeworth box looks, we can divide this problem into three regions. This region, this region and this region. So this is a region lying between the two 45 degree lines and this is a region lying above the 45 degree line through the origin of individual 1 and this is a region lying below the 45 degree line through individual 2's origin. We are going to now check by picking arbitrary points from these three regions whether they are efficient or not. So let us begin by picking a point in the region lying above the 45 degree line through the origin of individual 1. Let us plot an indifference curve of individual 1 through this point. This is how it's going to look. And this is the indifference curve of individual 2 through alpha. This is a region where individual 1 is strictly better off. So if you're going to move to any point in this region, then individual 1 will strictly prefer that point to allocation alpha. So if we are going to move to a point like beta from alpha, then we are keeping the satisfaction level of 2 fixed, but we are able to improve the satisfaction level of individual 1 because that's on a higher IC. So clearly alpha cannot be efficient because there is a way to make individual 1 better off without reducing the satisfaction level of individual 2. This kind of reasoning is going to hold good for any point above this 45 degree line. So therefore any point lying above the 45 degree line through the origin of individual 1 cannot be efficient because there exists a way to improve the satisfaction level of 1 without reducing the satisfaction level of 2. A similar reasoning can help us rule out any point below the 45 degree line through origin of individual 2. So I leave that as an exercise, try and do that yourself. Check that a point like this cannot be efficient. Now we are going to check at a point lying within the two 45 degree lines. So let us consider a point such as gamma. This is the indifference curve of individual 1 through this point. This is where we can make 1 strictly better off. This is the indifference curve of individual 2 through this point. And this is the region where we can make individual 2 strictly better off. So if we want to make 1 better off, then we'll have to move in this region. But if we'll move in this region, we'll end up making 2 worse off. And this is a region in which we can make 2 better off. And if we try and do so, we'll necessarily end up making 1 worse off because 1 will be on a lower IC at any point lying in this region compared to the IC that passes through gamma. So clearly there is no way that 1 can be made better off without making the other 1 worse off. So point such as gamma is efficient. And this kind of reasoning is going to hold good for any allocation lying in this shaded region. Therefore, any allocation lying in this region is efficient. So the set of efficient allocations are all those allocations that lie in the Edgeworth box that satisfy the property 
that x1 is greater than or equal to y1. That means the allocation must lie below the 45 degree line through the origin of individual one. And x2 must be greater than or equal to y2. That means the allocation must lie above the 45 degree line through the origin of individual two. So together these two condition will give us this colored region. Thank you.